Hi. Hi, everyone. It's Naomi Wolf, CEO of Daily Clout. And as I promised, I'm here to talk about the vaccine passports. I've, I appeared on Fox yesterday uh, to share my warning about the vaccine passports. And I got hundreds and hundreds of emails from across the political spectrum saying, I'm scared too, what can I do to help? So I just wanted to take more time um, to explain what exactly the vaccine passports are um, because there's a lot of, I wouldn't say misinformation, I would say lack of um, appropriate warning about what this platform really represents. So this is probably the most serious warning I've ever given. Um, as I said earlier, uh, I've been warning everyone since 2008 that we could slip into a fascist reality and the vaccine passports really are the last step and, you know, as someone said today, the hill worth dying on um, or the last fight that we have to fight because once the passport vaccines are accepted, there is no more resistance. There is no more choice. So let me explain as CEO of a tech company, Daily Cloud, exactly why this, not even proposal, it's being rolled out in Israel. It was rolled out in Israel. Um, it's being uh, promoted in Britain that you have to scan your vaccine passport in order to go to a pub and have a pint. Um, it's you know, President Biden in America said this is going to be mandated. My tyrannical governor, Governor Andrew Cuomo, said that it's got to be, you know, rolled out the Excelsior Pass um, that IBM is creating. Uh, it's, it's happening at warp speed. So please don't be fooled. This is the most dangerous tool that humanity has faced in my lifetime, if not ever, in terms of human liberty. Basically, let me explain a little nerdy tech detail. When you sign up on a website, you or on an app, there's a place where you sign your name and you choose a password, and then there's a, a list of terms and conditions, and you agree to them. Well, that's really important. It seems insignificant, but it's really important because what it means is you have choice. You can read the terms and conditions and you can think, this is too uh, you know, tyrannical, they're gonna sell my private details, um, I'm not willing to agree to these terms and conditions, they're not in my favor. Um, and the password and username means that you get to decide when you log on to TD Bank or when you log on to PayPal. Um, you're not walking around your daily life logged into PayPal. You're not walking around your daily life logged into, you know, um, a, a credit score. So that's really, really important. You're in control. So with the vaccine passports, none of that will be the case. Everyone has to be participating all the time. And what I mean by that is if you don't participate, you don't get let into the supermarket to buy food. You don't let it get let into the pub to meet your friends. You can't get into the restaurant. You can't travel on an airplane. You can't travel on a bus. You can't travel on a train. Um, and it's not just that you're forced to participate. I can't say this any more clearly. The vaccine passport platform is the same platform as a social credit system. I'm going to say that again because it's so important. The vaccine passport platform is the same platform as a social credit system, like in China that enslaves a billion people. In China, the CCP can find any dissident in five minutes because of the 360 degree surveillance of the social credit system. And it means that when you act like a good citizen, you get a boost. And when you act like a bad citizen, opportunities get closed to you. Maybe your child doesn't get into college or get into uh, prep school. Maybe you, know, you don't get that job, you don't get that promotion. The vaccine passport that is being proposed in the rest of the West 
is the same platform. I can't say that enough, speaking as a tech CEO. What I mean is once this platform rolls out, many any other functionality can be linked to it with no problem, right? Any other functionality can be linked to it. What does that mean? It means that with a tweak of the back end, like n virtually no extra development, um, PayPal can be switched off and on depending on how machine reading assesses what you've been saying on social media. So if you've been too conservative or too liberal, or you've used the word Trump too often, or the words pro-choice too often, or Sierra Club, machine reading will let PayPal know, PayPal will switch off or dial up your uh, interest on a credit card, and um, that's the world you're living in. Uh, Microsoft and Salesforce have already been proposing versions of the vaccine passport because many tech companies are vying for this incredibly lucrative and immensely powerful contract, right? The people who have this data are gonna run the world, basically, and, and they're gonna be sort of the gods of the world. Um, and everything will go through them. They'll be more powerful than nations. They'll be more powerful than the UN. Um, but with a tweak of the back end, you can never be positive, you know, or never, never have a green check, never have a I'm, I don't have COVID check. And there's no way to verify the COVID um, PCR tests. And studies and whistleblowers have shown that they can create false positives by just running them at above 25 cycle thresholds, right? So if you're a dissident, you can always be positive for COVID. And there is no way to challenge it, no way to verify it, and you'll be in a second class category in society for the rest of your life, and your family will too. When you agree to the vaccine passports, when you go to a pub or a play or a restaurant, and you swipe that, um, that, that code, right, which you're getting used to because since COVID, uh, you know, when you go to a restaurant, you're, you're asked to swipe that, that QR code. Um, that doesn't just, where does that go? I will tell you where it goes. It goes to a central database and all the people who are with you who are also swiping the code, their information is also going to a central database, which means that the vaccine passport, quote unquote, which is really a social credit system, knows everyone who's at that table. And if you're talking about, you know, resistance to the system, if you're talking about staging a protest or writing an op-ed or mobilizing support for a representative to pass a bill to roll back this system, the platform will know. <laughs> and there's a functionality that creates maps of networks of people. And as you all swipe in your vaccine passport to that cafe or to that restaurant or even to that living room, right? It is geolocating you and it can tabulate the searches you all have done historically and it can read what happened on your social media as a group and you as a group can be blackballed. Your social credit score can dial down or you're all positive, right? None of you ever gets to shop for food. None of you ever gets your children into school. Um, people who have been drafting uh, proposals for contracts for the vaccine passport system like Microsoft, they've said explicitly that the system can keep people who are positive from leaving the house, okay? And it can do that. It can make it impossible for you to get on a subway or a metro or the tube in London. It can make it impossible for you to get on a bus. It can make it impossible for you to book an Uber or book a Lyft, right? And this is not like maybe 10 years down the line, maybe, you know, in a more dystopian society. I'm telling you as CEO of a tech company right now, right now with a literally half hour development on the back end, these functionalities can be integrated. And the last thing I really wanna talk about is money. The US is starting to propose a digital currency. Um, there's a white paper that was leaked to me of China uh, proposing to hold the world hostage basically by using bio data um, and the bio data of everyone. And that is a goal. Uh, and again, a lot of these tech companies are 
in alignment or working with China, right? So why has this whole coronavirus insanity had the effect of weakening the West? Well, it's the Chinese Communist Party in alliance with big tech. And the, if you look at all the policies, they're about weakening the West, weakening our society, weakening our children, not letting them go to school, not letting grandparents hug grandchildren, um, you know, not letting us speak freely, not letting us congregate in town halls, not letting us pray, not letting us exert our First Amendment or Fourth Amendment rights. This is called subversion, all right? And so that has been happening for a year. Um, we're being turned into a weakened version of the West so that China and the tech companies can be the global superpowers, transcending nation states. That's what's been happening. You have to face it. But what the quote-unquote vaccine passports will do is create a way for China, you know, who owns Zoom, right? It's owned by a Chinese company. And many, many American influencers and media companies are have been bought up or bribed essentially by the Chinese Communist Party. Um, and so what is the immediate capability of the vaccine passport? Well, Microsoft, Salesforce rolled out an alignment of the vaccine passport with Apple Pay and with Google Wallet. And with a digital currency, you know what's next. Uh, if you're not a quote unquote good citizen, if you see a movie you shouldn't see, if you go to a play you shouldn't go, go to, which the app will know, right? Because you have to scan it everywhere you go. There's no opting out for it. Um, then your, your revenue stream can be shut off or your taxes can be boosted or your PayPal won't function and you don't have any choice except to get it back by being a good citizen and disavowing whatever you know, renegade views you've been having. And I just wanna say I've been deplatformed five times now since I started warning people about this by Twitter twice or three times, YouTube, Vimeo, um, this may be deplatformed, but what was really striking to me about being deplatformed was the CCP style conditioning with which I, as an American, was deplatformed. It wasn't just you violated our terms of service. You know, if you want to come back on, you have to not violate our terms of service. It was, we're giving you three strikes. You know, we're giving you three strikes, and at the end of that, you have to be a good citizen. And Twitter even gave me the opportunity of like erasing my own naughty tweets, like cleaning up my own mess, basically. Um, so these are all CCP type conditioning. It's conditioning us to not be Americans. It's conditioning us to not be members of the West. And I really lie awake nights these days. Like I've promised to reflect the danger exactly accurately since 2008 when I first wrote The End of America. Well, this is the most dangerous. There is no coming back from this. I mean, I was asked by a reporter today, what if Americans don't adopt this? And I said, you're already talking from a world that's gone if this succeeds in being rolled out because there won't be any choice. There's no such thing as refusing to adopt it. That's, there won't be capitalism. <laughs> There won't be free assembly. There won't be privacy. There won't be choice in anything that you want to do in your life. Uh, and there will be no escape. So I'm sorry to be such a downer, but understanding this technology, I thought I had to warn you and I had to tell you. Um, at Daily Clout, we've started a campaign to showcase mo model legislation at the state level to ban vaccine passports. It also, by the way, violates the Americans with Disabilities Act, which forbids you from even asking about someone's medical status and, and forbids you from denying anyone access to goods or services based on physiology. It's totally illegal. But it also violates the First Amendment and the Fourth Amendment. As a Democrat, I'm horrified that the Biden administration is rolling this out. But this is beyond partisanship. You know, Tories are rolling it out in Britain. In Israel, Netanyahu rolled it out. In six months, or no, four months, Israel crushed civil society because people who don't sign on to this past system uh, are, are second-rate citizens, and people even who do sign on to it who are dissidents are hounded and shamed and ostracized and surveilled 24-7. 
Um, so they're horrified, and they're trying to warn the rest of the world, and I'm trying to warn you. So on Daily Clout, we're going to showcase model legislation. We're going to create a campaign platform for you to lobby your state representatives to pass legislation at the state level, which is the only hope to ban this. Um, please let your state representatives know and your Congress people know that you will remember if they usher in this tyrannical totalitarian platform and I can't say m more from my heart this is this is the cliff like this is suicidal this is the last step and there is no coming back from this so please join me in this fight thank you I'm sorry to be so serious but this is a very very serious moment a very serious technology and we cannot let it happen on our shores we have to save our constitution and come together across left and right to to save our America thank you all so much Bye-bye.